welcome back to this beautiful mini lesson. So today we're going to talk about the object pronoun. Pronoun, that sounds familiar. So let's just refresh about the subject pronoun that we have been studying a lot. We're going to start with the sentence, of course. So let's study this. Maria is going to be our subject. Our pronoun will be she, right? Okay. Then we have our verb is coming. This means that our predicate is going to start here. Remember that we can divide our sentence in subject and predicate with the verb. So we have our verb here. And we're going to go to the movies with us. That's going to be our predicate. But right now we're going to, we're just going to focus in us because that's our object pronoun. So that's a pronoun that it could be my sister and me. But because, it, because it's in the predicate, we're going to use the object pronoun using us. For example, me, it could be I if it was in the subject, but as it's in the predicate, we change it to me. So when do we use the object pronoun? After a verb or a preposition. That's why I am lining this, I am highlighting this parts of the sentence so you can recognize them easily and it's always going to be in the predicate because if it's in the subject then we're going to use it as a subject pronoun but we are studying object pronouns so we have to use the predicate. Okay so let's refresh a little bit about the subject pronoun. So um, this is a guide, this is the key of the colors that I'm going to be using. So for the subject I'm going to use blue light blue for the pronoun and the predicate it's going to be in pinkish colors so the verb it's going to be in purple the object pronoun in a in a dark pink and the preposition in a light pink so we begin with i i read my verb a book that's my predicate after read you, my pronoun, eat my verb, an apple. She tells a story. He reads comics. It runs fast. We go to the park. You swim in the sea. They give presents. So this is only to refresh information because we have studied a lot this and I'm pretty sure that you know it by heart and you understand it pretty well. But let's see the object pronoun. So remember, it's always in the predicate and it always go after a verb or a preposition. For I, we're going to use me. For you, we're going to use you in singular and in plural. For she, we're going to use her. For he, we're going to use him. For it, we're going to use it. For we, we're going to use us. And for they, we're going to use them. So let's begin. My mom, that's my subject pronoun reads that's my verb that means that my object pronoun can come anytime after this to that's a preposition me here it is so in this case my object pronoun me came after the preposition to i my pronoun eat the verb an apple we here is the preposition you. So you remains the same for the subject pronoun and to the object pronoun. He reads comics to her. Her is my object pronoun. She tells my verb so it can come, my object pronoun can come anytime after this. 
a story to him. So it will be he if it was in the subject, but as it's in the predicate, we use him. The dog runs fast to catch. So we have two verbs here. So how do we call that? Yes, a compound predicate. So we have our object pronoun after a verb. Very good. The dog runs fast to catch it. What will be it? It can be a ball, a branch, or a toy, something like that. Come. So this sentence, we, be, we started it with a verb. That's okay. Come to the park with preposition, us, object pronoun. Come to the park with us. I, that's my subject pronoun, saw my verb, you. So here it is. We have our object pronoun after the verb. I saw you swimming in the sea. So we have a compound predicate here, but we have the object pronoun after the first verb. I saw you swimming in the sea. Santa and the elf, that's our subject pronoun, referring for they. And the object pronoun will be them. So Santa and the elf give presents to them. Who them? The kids around the world. So that's our object pronoun after a preposition. Cool, that's pretty much it. So let's wrap up. For the object pronoun, it will always go in the predicate and we use it after a verb or a preposition. So if we have the pronoun I, the object pronoun will be me. For the pronoun you, the object pronoun will be you, for singular and plural. For the pronoun she, the object pronoun will be her. For the pronoun he, the object pronoun will be him. For the pronoun it, the object pronoun will be it. For the pronoun we, the object pronoun will be us. For the object pronoun they, we are going to use them. Very good. Now it's time for you to practice. If you have any questions, you can write a comment or ask me. Give it a thumbs up if this video was helpful and see you in the next one.